Shane Codd, welcome to America's Dance 30, my friend. Thanks for having me on. I never thought I'd be on American radio, so yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> it's so crazy. And did I read that around this time last year, you were still in school and hadn't even started working on Get Out My Head? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, I was doing a, a course in university in, in, in Dublin that I, I really didn't like from day one. I was like, I always wanted to be a music producer, so I was just like chasing the dream, you know? And uh, yeah, I hadn't even started making the track. It, was, it wasn't until around probably like April, start of April, that I started making the track. So yeah, it's been a crazy journey the last the last while. So and so, what crazy. has the journey been like? Because obviously, dealing with being in lockdown, dealing with COVID and everything, and now having a number one song like six, seven, eight months later. <laughs> it's been yeah it's been obviously a little bit crazy but i'm just uh really grateful and uh i'm just delighted you know i just want to keep going now you know this is what i want to be doing and then to be chatting with yourself in america and so you know this is really cool so yeah just want to keep going now obviously you pretty much skyrocketed onto the scene with the, with get out my head why don't you give us a little history of yourself shane cod pretty much i've just been always into like dance music and um a lot of like trance music from the 90s and 2000s and um, because i would have grown up with that and my parents playing it Um i actually i have a playlist on spotify it's like it's called trance anthems 90s to O's, and um i've just been like building that for years and i think it has like 80 86 000, uh likes now and um so i've been just like yeah I'm always into dance music and um Pretty much that's it. Yeah, I went to see Avicii when I was like 15 or 16 and got blown away. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just always wanted to be a uh, dance music DJ producer. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I just love it. Love it. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, you mentioned trance music from back then. I've been doing a show here in town for that long where originally it was all stuff like underground stuff that didn't belong on the radio. And it was so yeah, like yeah. the old Tiestos and Delirium and stuff like that. So I get I it. That. And it's crazy because I hear Get Out My Head and it's got the sound from songs back then. Yeah, I think it's definitely a big influence for me. So, What's crazy about Get Out My Head is you hear the song, you hear the vocalist, you automatically think that she's singing about someone, but that's not what it's actually about. Shane Codd, why don't you share with everyone what the song is actually about? I mean, for me, anyway, it's just about like uh, lockdown, wanting to be out of lockdown, you know, because in Ireland it was pretty bad, you know, you couldn't go from two kilometers in your house, like, at one point you couldn't like go within two kilometers from your house so um it's just about wanting all that stress out of your head and um yeah i guess it can be taken up in any way though like you know if if, if somebody thinks it's about wanting somebody out of your head a person then it can be taken up in that way as well that's what i like about like obviously with music you know it means uh, something different to everyone so yeah i suppose whichever way you want to take it up though <laughs> and what was the process of get out my head coming together um it was just me in lockdown you know i had a bit more time on my hands obviously when i was doing the uni course at the time i was actually doing it was an internship for like a car company and no new car no new cars were being sold so i was just like you know working from home they like obviously thought i was working on like whatever <laughs> excel reports or something and i was just like making tunes so um yeah that was the process just working on working on the track every day and then um played it in my car for the first time i bounced out an mp3 and i played it in my car and i just like got this energy off the song and I was just hoping everyone else would feel the same thing and thank God a lot of people uh, connected with it as well. Well, congratulations Shane Codd on Get Out My Head being the biggest dance song in the country. What is next for you? Yeah, in the immediate future, like we're doing a performance video for Get Out My Head on Sunday. Uh, we're going to do it in a cave in Ireland. It's going to be pretty cool. That's and awesome. Then, yeah, keep working on new music and probably uh, May I'm looking to release a new track, so... And you just pushed out uh, a new remix for Silk City, correct? Which is massive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unbelievable. You know, um, remixing Ellie Goulden in, um, in in your in your bedroom in a cabin in Ireland, in the countryside in Ireland. It's it's crazy. It's some difference, you know. So, um, yeah, as I said, just want to keep going now. I can imagine because I was talking to Mark Ronson last week and I was just mentioning if I could marry Ellie Goulding's voice, I would. So I could just imagine working with Ellie Goulding's voice. She's unbelievable. She's unbelievable. My God. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> well, Shane yeah. Codd, thank you so much for being with us on America's Dance 30. Stay safe in Ireland. I can't wait to hear what's next for you. Yeah, thanks very much, Brian. And I hope to get over to America at some point. You know, it'd be, it'd be great to do this interview in person, hopefully someday. But thanks very much, man. Absolutely. And that would be awesome to be at a Shane Cod show and 15 year olds going, man, I was at this Shane Cod show and it was amazing. That'd be brilliant. You know, that's the dream. So hopefully, yeah. <laughs>